One thing that you might definitely see on a beach in this country is a crab. When I was a little girl, we used to go and dig them up and fill our buckets with them. We always put them back there at the end. Uh, but yeah, it was great fun collecting crabs. And we're going to make a crab. Uh, we're going to make it with a paper plate. Now, I haven't got any plain paper plates. I've just got an Easter paper plate. Um, but that doesn't matter because I'm going to stick down this side so that I've got the um, the plain side facing up. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take my stapler and I'm going to staple these bits together. You could tape or glue um, if that's easy for you. But if you want to paint it, which I do, you'll need to make sure that you don't get tape on any bits that you want to um, paint. So I've stapled my um, octopus. Uh, my crab not my octopus together at the bottom and now I'm going to make him some arms and legs unfortunately I don't have any uh, plain cardboard at the moment because of lockdown and everything but what I do have is some easter egg boxes so I'm going to draw on here some arms and legs um, and some eyes so you can see that on my easter egg box I've drawn some eyes there for my crab and I've also drawn some crabby arms. I'm going to cut those out now and uh, stick them onto my crab. Okay, so I've just about finished constructing my octopus. As you can see I've stuck on my arms and my eyes um, and I've also stuck on some legs which are just strips of cardboard that I've bent slightly to look a bit, a bit more leg-like. Um, and I just stuck those in the gaps between where the staples were with a bit of glue. Um, I think it might be a good idea actually to, to put the eyes on last after we've painted uh, the crab that I've put mine on now. So I'll just have to be really careful when I'm painting around it. Anyway, now I'm going to leave it to dry. Okay, so look, here's our crab. Um, I've painted it with um, acrylic paint and I added a little mouth because I felt he needed to be a bit more smiley. What I'm probably going to do now is attach some string to the back of him and hang him up in my window. I think he's fantastic. I hope you like him too and I'd love to see any crabs that you make like him.